I watched Spinning Out and here is what I thought. So Spinning Out is an ice skating show. Our main character was Kat and she was a competitive ice skater but had a very bad accident and since then she hasn't really been able to skate like she used to. But then an opportunity presents itself. Justin, who is a great skater, needs a partner because he usually does pair skating. Him and his coach think that Kat would be the best person. They don't really like each other too much, referring to Justin and Kat, but in this instance, they do need each other and need to learn to work together for both of them to succeed. Okay, so that was a little synopsis about the show if you've never heard of it or didn't know anything about it. But now I'm going to get into spoiler territory. We're going to get more in depth in some of the characters, talk a little bit more about the show and kind of what I thought. So you have been warned. Okay, now let's get into the spoilers. So as I mentioned before, Kat hasn't been really able to skate like she used to since her accident and she hasn't even competed since. But then she sees this kind of light at the end of the tunnel where Justin comes along, needs a partner. And finally they decide they will skate together but it seems like when when we see them together that they have a little past so a little bit more about kat in her home life they are all skaters so her her mom and her sister but this does put a little but this does put a little bit more of a strain on their relationship with all three of them being in the same sport and this sport is a very competitive one and another thing is both Kat and her mother are both diagnosed with bipolar disorder. So growing up, Kat saw what her mom dealt with and kind of the unstable home life she had because of her mother not being on her medication all the time. And that is one big thing for Kat. She does not want to end up like her mother. So she makes it a point to always take her medication on time to take it because she doesn't want to affect people how her mom affected her. So there is a whole lot that goes on in this show. So I'm going to try to break it down and tackle it as much as I can. But here we go. So first we're going to focus on Kat's mom and that is Carol. So as I mentioned before, she has bipolar disorder and we see that how her having this affects her daughters. And a lot of the times in the show we see she's not really on her medication or she's not taking it um, continuously. And this does cause a very not great relationship between her and her daughters. And it's definitely, you see, between her and Kat, they have definitely have more restraint on their relationship than with Kat's um, younger sister, Serena, and their mother. And it seems to be more, more of a favoritism towards Serena. She spends more money on her for her coaches, for skating, wants her to have the best outfits um, for her routines. And she's willing to spend all this money on Serena, but it's not looking like she's doing the same for Kat. But for Carol, even though her character starts like that, we do see as the season goes on that she is trying to get better. And she does end up getting into a relationship with Serena's coach, which at first I was like, girl, you know, this doesn't sound like it's going to end up well. Leave your daughter's coach alone. Like, nah, don't mess in those waters. But this dude ends up really being a nice guy and someone that she does need in her life. And he sticks by her, even though she's scared to tell him that she's um she's diagnosed with bipolar disorder doesn't know how he will react but he just takes it in stride he doesn't care he's willing to stand by her help her with her family so i really like their relationship and seeing that throughout the season and then eventually she ends up getting a good job a stable job and able to pay for things and um not be in debt anymore so we love seeing that for carol you know, I love um, seeing her arc and how she's getting better and she's really trying. Okay, next person we're going to talk about is Serena and this is Kat's sister. I didn't really love Serena. Um, she annoyed me, let's just say that. And it was mostly because of the, her like back and forth with like her sister. So Serena is like the favorite of her mom, as I said before, and her mom's spending all this money for her to be like a really good skater and just putting all this money and resources into her. I didn't love how she treated Kat a lot of the time. If she's in trouble, she like calls the cat help. Um, mom's in her one of her like moods again. Like that's how they kind of like describe it. Mom's acting up again, something like that. And she'll call Kat. Cat will come, you know. Cat is literally always there for her sister when she needs her. And Serena on one point will like love Kat and really want Kat to be there for her. But in another instance, like so literally so fast we'll switch it up and be like so 
condescending to Kat. It's like, I'm a better skater than you. I don't know why you even try. Saying hateful things like that. I'm probably not saying word for word, but just like saying things to Kat about her career and her skating. And I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did this come from? I, I think I just would have liked if she was just one type of personality. Like, oh, I, hate, I don't like my sister and I'm going to just talk mean things to her all the time. Or I'm the younger sister that needs her older sister all the time. It was just because it was like playing the victim. It wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't consistent. Her her um, personality was not consistent throughout the show. So it really threw me off and I didn't love that. And I was really thinking, I was like, are you sure you're not? supposed to be diagnosed or something just the flip of the switch that she would be going through throughout the episode literally i was thinking this is just me i am no expert anything i was like maybe just growing up seeing how her mother and her sister because they're both diagnosed with it i don't know can people just pick up similar traits seeing how people act not that they're diagnosed with it but maybe like i don't know can like if you're younger and you're seeing two older women in your life acting this way do you could you pick up similar like you're not fully diagnosed like them but could you pick up something just by seeing how they are acting i don't know because she was flipping the switch real quick but yeah i didn't love serena she was not my favorite person and that was mostly why because she was just mostly because of how she treated cat okay next person i'm going to talk about is marcus he was actually a co-worker of cats and they become friends because they end up working at the same place they kind of work at this like ski lodge place area and we see that he really enjoys skiing and he actually works at this place to try to help pay for like him to be able to ski on these slopes at the place he's working at so i thought that was kind of cool and you we see there's a little thing between him and cat like he's he's feeling her she's feeling him a little bit and i was like okay let's see where this goes but i also wasn't really holding my breath because we also have justin but they end up going on kind of a date and the feelings are mutual and so i'm like okay this is cute but then um he starts seeing her with justin and eventually she chooses justin as the person she wants to be with and I just felt really bad for him because I felt like she was kind of leading him on. Maybe she didn't mean to intentionally, but I feel like she, you know, she's like, let me try it. And it, she wasn't feeling it, but wasn't telling him straight out like, yo, I don't feel that way about you. I'm going to be with Justin. I feel like it, she just waited too long and his feelings got hurt um, more than maybe they should have if she kind of had a conversation with him. So I felt bad for him on that point. But there was a part in the season with Marcus where he wants to pursue skiing full time and be a part of like the skiing team and do it as a career, which I was like, good for him. Great. But then it turns out he had, I think, a scholarship or he's going to go to school to become a doctor, I believe. If I'm wrong. OK, but it was some like prestigious career. I'm going to say doctor because that's all I can think of right now. And I can't remember. And I, like a doctor at Harvard. And he got, he was going to go there, got accepted, was going to do the whole thing. And he decides to give that up and go ski. And let me just tell you, it wouldn't have been me. I don't think it would have been me. You know what I'm saying? I'm all for follow your dreams, do what you love. But it, when I heard that, I was like, you gave up a career to be a doctor to follow your passion for skiing which is not a hundred percent get you know what i mean i feel like a safer bet would have been the doctor thing that's all i'm saying so i was a little shocked and i was like dude are you crazy um but eventually i was trying to take a step back and be like you know maybe he really he really can do this he said he's really good he eventually did make it on the team so i was like okay he was very confident in his passion so go for it and it ultimately is his choice you know i i can't tell a character nah but it's his choice he went to, and he ended up making it good for him but that was just something that surprised me a bit i was like wow you're really really gonna try the skiing thing okay next person i'm gonna talk about is jen and she is kat's best friend so they both grew up skiing together and they're best friends they really depend on each other and i love their uh seeing their friendship in the beginning um but in the show jen does end up hurting herself um, not intentionally, but hurting herself, uh, I believe it's her leg. Instead of taking a break and resting her leg, she decides to continue skating on it. 
And one of the major reasons is because she doesn't want to let her parents down. So she like hides how bad her injury really is. Another thing about Jen is she has a crush on Justin. Yes, the Justin. And she doesn't know that Justin and Kat had a little bit of a history together. Um, just they slept together one time before, but she didn't know that. Kat knows she has a crush on Justin. She kind of talks about it here and there, but Kat kind of is like indifferent to Justin, acts like she doesn't really care, doesn't like him, anything like that. Jen does not know they had a past, but um, Jen invites Justin out to hang out with them. He joins them. Kat's not there, but it's just her. Uh, it's just Jen, Justin, and some other person. Don't remember that character's name. Apologies. And Justin and Jen are kind of feeling each other and they get pretty close, but they don't get all the way. They get interrupted, but then Justin and Kat start hanging around each other again. And then they eventually sleep together again. And then Jen finds out and she is livid. That is like the straw that broke the camel's back. She is done with Kat. And basically she's like, she's like I'm done. I, I can't deal with this anymore. She always felt like she came second to Kat, which is very sad and very unfortunate. And we do see like a flashback within the TV show that they're staying on a podium and Kat got first place and Jen got second. And so she, and then we see Jen looking up at Kat, so jealous that this girl, her friend got first place and she only got second. But then we see Jen getting hugged by her family. Like they're so proud of her, like she, got you know got a medal she did so well they're just proud of the person she is and how well she did it like in their eyes it doesn't seem that they care that she got second and didn't get first but then we see Kat looking at Jen and seeing how Jen's family is all surrounded so happy for her and Kat is not have doesn't have that her mom is not there hugging her and she's like up there in first place all by herself so I think I thought that was really cool how we're seeing the same scene but from two different perspectives and how we're seeing one girl how each girl wishes she had the other thing that the other girl had one wishes she had the first place the other girl wishes she just had a family that was proud of how she did so that was really sad and i did feel sad when jen and um kat kind of weren't friends for a while i really liked their friendship together going back to jen's injury continues to skate on it and it's still hurting it's getting worse and worse and um, she's doing it for her family. And then at this uh, like competition, at this skating uh, thing where she has to perform, she finishes her routine. And as soon as she finishes, she like falls to the ground in pain and is crying because I don't even know how she made it through her whole routine. She made it through her whole routine when she stopped. She was in significant pain. So I don't know if after that she'll be able to skate again just because of how bad the injury was. and how it wasn't rested at all. So I felt really bad for her. Now that could be the ending of her skating career. Next person I'm gonna talk about is Justin. He is a great skater. He's also one of our main guys in the TV show. And he, his character is basically like that typical playboy character. But in the show, he needs um, a pair skater because something to happen to his previous partner. So he needs someone else to take their place. And that is when him and his coach ask Kat at first, she doesn't say yes, she wasn't, she's not really sure about it, but eventually she does, and they have to skate together. She does end up having to get over her fear and to be able to do the jumps that they need for their routine, and she kind of is like, whatever happened before, we're just gonna pretend it didn't happen, like, none of that. He likes her, he does like her, she, you know, she's, and she's that typical character for him, oh, she's not like the other girl type, but eventually, um, they get into a flow with their skating and with each other and they have that spark once again that they had before. Another thing about Justin, his family's very rich. Uh, they own the ski lodge and he ends up staying there. He doesn't stay at his home. He like stays at the lodge resort area and like stays in a room. So he's really rich. I like seeing him and Kat together. I love them. I thought they were so great. Definitely had some things they could they need to work out, but overall love them as a couple and how like he kind of helps her with her skating. Okay, I've talked a lot about Kat, but just to get more into her a bit is, um, as I said before, she has bipolar disorder and no one knows except for her mom and her sister. So not even Jen knew. And she's always like, one main thing about her is she always takes her medication. As she does begin practicing to compete again, um, she does lessen the amount she is taking. The less she takes, the more confident she's becoming in her skating but her mental health 
is becoming worse and worse because she's no longer taking the medication needed. So that was, I was like, oh no, cat, don't do this, don't do this. Like, I know she wants to get over this little, this hump of like not, not being confident and not being able to stick to these jumps. But I was like, don't go off your medication. But eventually people begin to realize she's acting different, but they're not sure what's wrong because they're, a lot of people have never really seen her this way. So eventually she it gets um, really bad and she kind of throws a party in Justin's place. And there's so many strangers there and there's these drugs and he sees her taking drugs and Justin's like freaking out. He's mad. He's like, doesn't know why she's acting like this. He sees Marcus and even though they don't have the best of history, him and Marcus like they both care about cats so they're trying to break up this party and get all these people out but when she comes to um she's back in her bed in her house so her mom ends up telling people she's sick but not what she's kind of sick with she kind of just tells them she has the flu or something like that you know just like uh like that type of sickness but Justin knows that her mom is lying because she, he saw a cat she didn't have the flu but he knows something else is wrong or something else happened but doesn't know what it is and her coach also finds out that something else is going on that is not really the flu so when her coach goes to her like goes to her house to visit her she wants the truth she's like what what really happened because it doesn't look like you have the flu like just tell me the truth and we can get through this i just need you to tell me what's going on and her mother encourages her not to tell them so that's what cat does cat doesn't tell her her coach what happened and her coach is furious he's like okay fine don't tell me so once her coach leaves Kat really does want to tell people she wants people to know the truth she doesn't really want to hide it hide it anymore hide it anymore but her mother wants her to hide it she doesn't want her to tell people and we see this is coming from like a mother's protection because her mother grew up in the skating world with the same thing that Kat has but she grew up in a different time. So now people know more about it and are a little bit more accepting. Like people aren't, people aren't totally the best. So um, Kat still might face some things, but people are more understanding than when her mom uh, was coming up in this sport. So I think her mom is still in that mindset of how when she grew up and she doesn't want anything bad or to happen to Kat. She doesn't want her to just be labeled as a certain way to hurt her chances in competing. So I see that and I, I kind of felt for her mom when she didn't want Kat to tell anyone because she just doesn't want Kat to get hurt. But Kat ends up with doing best for her and she ends up telling her friends and the people closest to her what really happened and the truth about the whole situation and her bipolar disorder. Okay, I talked about some of the characters, but now we're going to get into the final episode. So here we are coming to the end of the season. And so kind of throughout the season or like near the middle, the second half of the season, Serena has been texting someone and from context of what we know, it's someone no one really knows about and it seems like they end up sleeping together. So on the final episode, we see there's this big competition. During that competition, Kat notices that there's something wrong with her sister and she ends up seeing her text and she immediately thinks it's Mitch which if you don't remember, Mitch is Serena's coach and Mitch is her mother's boyfriend. So near the beginning of the season, Kat sees like Mitch pat Serena on like the butt prior to like getting on the ice. And I'm not gonna lie, if I saw that, I would be suspicious too. And I have a similar reaction that Kat did. It was like, hey, why are you touching my sister like that? Kat did confront him previously about it. And he was like, no, I didn't mean like that. You know, Kat had her suspicions from him in the beginning. But now after seeing these texts, she immediately goes to Mitch and she's like, I was right about this dude. So when she confronts him, he says it wasn't him, like that wasn't me. And also while she's confronting him, she also lets it slip that her mother cheated on him because he did not know that. And her mother did regret it, like didn't want to do it again. After that, he was kind of like done. He was like, okay, I'm done with this family. He's like, I'm tired of you accusing me that I'm like inappropriate with your sister. I'm tired. I can't believe your mom cheated on me. He's like, I'm done with this family. I'm not going to be Serena's coach. Like, I can't do this. So he's like done and he like leaves because he's like over it. He just had too much go on. 
it turns out that the person who Serena was kind of like seeing and dating and slept with to be her doctor. So it's like the doctor for the skaters. So I guess they have like a physician or someone that they have on site that looks at all the skaters. And it's this dude, ew. When you realize it's him, you're like, ew. Yeah, this dude looks like a creep. So Serena had initially saw him at the competition and you know, they kind of talked and whatever. And he like was acting all lovey-dovey with her, but in secret and private. Cause, and she knows she's like, oh, he's an adult. We can't, you know, be seen really together. But then later she sees him with Jen. So yeah, it turns out Jen is dating him. And Jen is an adult woman. She can date this adult man, whatever. But Serena didn't know that this dude was seeing someone. So when she goes and confronts him, this dude is straight up gaslighting Serena. And y'all, I couldn't. I was like, how dare you? How dare you? Making this girl feel crazy. Like it's her fault. Like she shouldn't be feeling this way no mm -mm, we're not here for it so kat and her mom are trying to figure out who is this dude that serena has been texting and that is making her feel like this eventually her mom finds out and texts kat like hey is the doctor dude so kat goes and is trying to look for this man she sees that he's with jen goes up to them confronts him and of course he lies kat shows them her phone where where her sister texted and said it was the doctor and Jen stands by this man's side that she knows less than her friend and says, your sister is probably crazy like you are. Y'all, when I, when she said that, I was so first shocked, done. I was like, Jen, you're, no, we're done. The fact she said, no, 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 no. Like this girl, like your friend Kat tells you the secret that she has bipolar disorder, a secret she's been keeping for so long because she didn't want judgment for other people. And then you call her and her sister crazy. And you and you stand by this dude that you barely know and is a pedophile? No. No, I was done with her at this. I was so done. I was like, I could not like, no. So there's a point when, you know, Kat thought it was Mitch. And now Jen's like, oh, you thought it was Mitch and it wasn't Mitch. Now you think it's my guy and you're probably wrong. But no, Jen, that doesn't give you the right to say that. I was just so upset. And maybe like Jen's at a place where, like Kat ruins everything for me. Like she's not ruining this. But I was like, girl, listen to your friend. This dude, no. So I was done. I, I honestly, when that scene happened, I couldn't believe it. I was like, I cannot. So when that didn't work, Kat's mom, Carol, made sure this dude got his comeuppance. So she went to his house, knocked on his door. When he answered, I can't remember if it was a shovel or a bat. Whatever she had, she made sure she hit him hard and multiple times. She was not playing. And I was like, yes. Yes, Carol. Yes. Do I say that you should be doing that? No. But I love a mom that will do anything for her daughters that's all i'm saying and i was there for i was there with carol okay so that is spinning out that was all the characters in the final episode and man a lot happened in that final episode i thought spinning out was really good i didn't think initially when i like kind of saw it i thought it'd be more of a romance but i think this is more drama it does have some romance in it but i think it focuses on a lot of other things and not just a romance so after watching this show i would actually give it four stars i really wish it had gotten a second season i think i really would i would have loved to see what happens to these characters so if you have seen this show what did you think do you think it deserves a second season and if i haven't mentioned it before you can catch this show on netflix so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and my thoughts and what i think about the characters and everything about spinning out Feel free to check out my website if you want any more TV content. You can also follow me on any of my socials, which I will link both of those below. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, week, month, and hopefully a good rest of your year. And until next time, bye.